Hi, Chris here with 123 Muse. I wanted to show you our new Pro Unit Slider 1 widget, but I want to show you just how fast you can implement it on a page. So let's go ahead and start the clock. So first of all, I'm going to drag our headings onto the page. These will be used by Muse to do the fonts and the font styles. Then I'm going to grab my widget, place it on the page, and I will set my width to 100%. Yep, I've got it set to stretch to full width. Now we're going to first of all open up our options and go and set up our arrows and our sample assets here that come with the widget just so that you can get started let's put our right arrow in here we'll leave the transitions and everything else the same then our slider images let's go to our first image and I am going to add the slide one slide two obviously you can use your own images and let's change the tint to just be a little bit darker. That'll darken the images to allow the text to be seen properly. Um, we're going to put some text in here. So 100% response save. Um, and then find out more. And then we're going to cheat here a bit. We're going to use copy and paste and put that in there. And let's go world's fastest Oop. slider. And then start, oh, let's put, uh, get this widget. Then we're going to close that down and we'll go to our buttons. We'll just change the button style to this ghost uh, rounded and change it to white. And then we're going to have a click here, copy and paste that, copy, 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 done. And now let's preview the page in the browser. And there is our slider all done. We have this nice preview previous and next uh, image overlay. We have our um, nice buttons here with transition effects and we've done it in less than two minutes. So thanks for watching. Take a look at the article uh, that accompanies this widget. There's a lot more detail in there and we'll take you through every step of how to use this widget on your page. And thanks for watching.